This week on One Crazy Story, my friend Mike remembers a night full of lies and underage drinking. A couple and you're not away. running fast. No. Than when somebody's chasing you. Yeah, and really I'm gun. holy ass. I, yeah. I've never ran. I was like 200 and something pounds. I've never ran that fast. <laughs> Just never in ran. my life, just never I've never ran. ran at that yeah. point. I'm like using new muscles. I'm sweating in places I've never sweat before. I'm like, what is going on? What is this? Yeah. So this was this was 2009. I want to say 2009. We were. I was 17. Okay. Uh, a little backstory to it. <clears throat> so when I was 16, my brother got married. My brother yes. had a really good friend. Uh, let's call him Jim. So when my brother uh, got married, Jim was so used to hanging around the house and like hanging out with the family and everything that he would still come by. So I was 16, and my brother was 23. He's a couple years okay. old. So he was, he was over 21, really the only right. point. So flash forward, I'm 17, um, and I have my, my two buddies, my three buddies. It's, it's Jim, me, um, and two buddies from high school. I just don't want to get into names. We, I had dated a girl who went to a different high school. And through her, I met her friends. Mm-hmm. Um, like, n- like, not Northville, but like the Novi Northville. Just yeah, like. A little well off. W- well good off. Good families. L- yeah. More, more money than. Yeah. More money. S- super snobby. Yeah. But in the dumbest ways. <laughs> yeah. Starbucks, Ugg Boots. Like, we went to Garden City. So, I mean, it yeah. wasn't like they were hanging out with, like, upper class yeah. people when they hung out with yeah. us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was so, downgrade. Yeah. They were, they were weird kids. Um, so, 17 years old. Um, we, we would hang out with these girls. And, and Jim would hang out with us. So, we went to one party. I think the party that we met them. And, like, we just had beer. Like, it was not hard for us to find beer at all. Jim would always stock up, and we would always just, we'd be drinking all the time. Jim sounds like a good guy. Yeah, so throughout high school, it was really simple for me to drink. <laughs> we all need a gym in our lives. Yeah, we all, y'all need a gym. Not, not as not as dumb as our gym, but we <laughs> need a gym. <laughs> most, gy- most, gyms, <laughs> most gyms are dumb. Yeah, so uh, so we would hang out with the, I was hanging out with this, this group of girls, and uh, like we were drinking. So they started hitting us up after that point. For, for beer and for booze, whatever they were drinking at the time. So you guys became a gym. We we became her connection to Jim. Um, Jim's middleman. Jim's the middleman. Well, yeah, I'm the yeah, middleman. Yeah. You're the middleman to Jim for these <laughs> rich white girls. Jim's the Pablo Escobar of PBR. <laughs> Pablo Escobar. Yeah, Escobar. Pablo BR Escobar. Yeah. yeah, the P in PBR um, stands for Pablo. So these girls, so these girls start uh, frequently, like frequently hitting us up like every weekend Jesus. to hit, hit us up. So, and then, like, we would hang out with them, bullshit with them, drink with them, uh, whatever. And, uh, so we, <laughs> we got invited to their friend Kathy's birthday party. And we're like, oh, how old is she? She's like, oh, she's, she's 19. She's mm-hmm. turning 19. We're 17. We're like, yeah. all right, cool. She's probably out of high school, whatever. Yeah. So we get there and first things first. Alarm should have gone off, and because mm-hmm. they're like, "Yeah, our parents are out of town. Like, we have the house to ourselves. Mm-hmm. And, like, not a problem." And we're like, "All right, oh wow, this is gonna sweet. be a sweet party." Yeah, well, that's what we think. If we think it's gonna yeah. be fucking awesome, and so we show up to this like super nice, like really big, <laughs> really way nicer than yeah. your house. Yeah, just like what these exist. <laughs> yeah. So basically, what I'm saying is they were like middle class houses. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, these huge houses, and so we show up, and me, Jim. Two friends, Lando and Tony. So it's, it's me, Jim, Lando, and Tony. Okay. And uh, so we're at, we pull up to this party. We have a bunch of people. They told us ahead of time to get beer. We're going to yeah. uh, Kathy's house to meet up with these, these girls. So we're sitting here. We pull up, and we get a text. Hey, park down the street uh, and, uh, and text us when you're here. We're yeah. like, all right, well. Pretty kosher, right? Yeah. A couple miners with some beer. Not a problem. You know, so we take a little up. walk, put him in the backpack. We show up. Now, now Jim's 23 at this point, so Jim's older. Yeah, so he's like creepy it's, for being it's, there. Yeah, it's, it's like, kind of weird. He should have just stayed uh, yeah. Yeah, at the 7-Eleven. It's, it's kind of weird. He's going to a, what we think is a 19-year-old's birthday party, but he's going with yeah. a bunch of 16 or 17-year-olds. Oh, man, that's so weird. It, it wasn't like really a weird. <laughs> but I mean, weird. like, Jim's, Jim's a good guy. It's There's not, nothing weird about it. It wasn't weird because he knew him well. Yeah, but it was a family friend. It just friend sounds so bad. It does. On old. paper, on paper, it, sounds it sounds just terrible. Weird. And we have to sneak in. They're like, hey, you have to, like, come in, 
but come in through the back door. And we're like, okay, uh, whatever. We thought your parents were out of town. We're thinking that it's going to be like a party, right? There's no cars. There's no cars anywhere. Uh, so we walk into this house, beautiful basement, everything's cool. There yeah. was the basement. There was a back door. It's like in the a basement. finished basement. Yeah. It was like a finished everything. basement. It was really cool. Yeah. And take your like, shoes off. Yeah, we did. We had <laughs> yeah. to take our shoes off in the basement. I'm Those, like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of, kind of family is this? I don't know. It was crazy. Go to the basement. <laughs> Why? <laughs> gotta take my shoes off. That's uh-huh. the point. Like I would just go out of my way to leave my <laughs> shoes on because I'm too lazy to take them <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have like two cases of beer and like a fifth on us we have a lot we have a lot of stuff and there's only six of us like it's us four so you're not at a party you're kathy you're to get together and kathy's there's eight of us, and kathy's Mm. two friends one of which was this random ass guy named jared (laughs) it's always so jared Jared is talking to kath some i forgot the connection but so jared's just there and they're like (laughs) They're like, hey, uh, so this is the deal. It's it's her birthday, but mm-hmm. we're going to uh, we're just hanging out. Let's just drink. Let's just play waterfall and drink. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, all right. Well, I mean, like, are your parents out of town? Why are we all secret? She's like, oh no. Well, my parents are out of town, but my uncle's staying here. My uncle Bill is staying here. <laughs> and uh, like, oh, oh, so there's adults, okay. And they're and like, Jim. and they're like, yeah. And Uncle Bill is kind of like unstable. <laughs> <laughs> so Whoa. we're sitting here like what you just invited yeah. Yeah. a 23 year old yeah and his and like and his and his friends creepily younger friends because they didn't they inv- we knew him but they invited jim yeah and so we just came with jim so that's what was weird we're like all right that's this odd. is this is odd so uncle bill is staying with us he's watching the house making sure wow. we don't have a party we're like, okay, mm-hmm. well, why are you telling us this? Yeah, yeah if and someone opens like, with that, it's not going to be good. So we're like, all right, whatever. And he's, she's like, and my sister's here too. She's like, she's 21, but she's going to school to be a nun. And oh, wow. there can't be drinking. <laughs> okay, then what do you want us to do? She's like, whatever we do, we just have to hide the cans. The night continues. We're quiet. We're drinking. <laughs> Drinks are had. We're still getting a little louder. At this point, we mm-hmm. were hammered. So yeah, so you're just not paying attention to how no. loud you guys and are. And then, then we got loud. So we'll we'll have a beer, we'll slam it, we yeah. will go hide it. Yeah. And so we like so we her were, uncle doesn't even know you're in no, the house. He doesn't even know we're in the house. The okay. sister knows we're there, but, but doesn't, doesn't think, think we're drinking. Yeah. Okay. So the sister comes downstairs periodically and she'll like look around. She won't find anything. Because mm-hmm. we hid the cans. Mm-hmm. And we hid them really Where well. Where did you hide the cans? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait should we save this to the end the very no end. i'll tell okay, you now okay. so there was a toy chest mm-hmm. there was a wall like a library sized wall of shelves of dvds and they were all, like extended so we lined up cans behind the dvds at oh, first what? at first we were just hiding them yeah that's a then good we idea. started getting more drunk and think it'd be funny <laughs> to hide them in places that kathy would have no idea okay so we opened up the toy chest that had that obviously hasn't been opened in like <laughs> In like ten years, because there's like there's old toys like Barbies yeah, and shit. pogs, yeah, and po- like pogs. <laughs> that's my there's, first. That's there's my a go-to. bin full of Beanie Babies. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we hit them in the Beanie Babies. Nineties uh, toy. Actually, chest. I think there were Beanie Babies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody. If there's a tub in a middle class white family's toy closet chest that yeah. hasn't been opened in ten there's years, beanie there's babies. Beanie Babies. So we um we start stashing them in the toy chest, but like not on top where it would be easy to clean up. We like dug around the toys and we're stashing them. We would hide them in the bathroom. We'd hide them under the sink. Uh, we would hide them in just random yeah. places where you would not think of looking. Mm-hmm. Something happened. I forgot. Someone spilled something or something. More of the story, the girls were drunk. They got loud. Oh, Sister okay. comes downstairs, sees beer spilt all over the place. Oh, and man. we're like, okay. And then they, she looks Party's at us. Party's over. She looks at us and goes, how dare you drink in this house? <laughs> when we got there, she asked uh, Jim how old he was. Because he looked older, and she and he's like, "Oh, I'm 19." <laughs> and she got all weirded what? out. She's like, "She's like, you're 19. Why are you here? Like, why are you here if you're 19?" Mm-hmm. And we're like, "Well, it's it's her 19th birthday. It's not her 19th birthday. It's her 17th birthday." What? Even we're like, why? Why lie? Why would you lie? And if, and if, you're, gonna, and if, and if you're gonna lie, <laughs> why not pick a more twenty one? And yeah. then and then it won't be weird. No, that's like that would be what, yeah. If, why so, two years so older? He tell he says that's that he's nineteen. She lied to us and said she was turning nineteen and she's turning seventeen. Just to get so beer. We, yeah. All right. Well, what the fuck? 
So she's like, you guys need to leave, but you guys can't drive. And he's like, oh, well, I'll call my mom. Mm-hmm. That was his first. Mm-hmm. I'll call my mom to come pick us up. You need to call your mom now. So he's like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I can't, and she's waiting, waiting for him yeah, to call. She's like watching calls. Yeah. Weird. And he's like, okay. So he picks up his phone and he calls my mom. <laughs> and he's like, hey, um, I'm going to need you to come pick us up. We are at this place. We just need you to come pick us up as soon as possible. What happened? It's cool. I'll call you in a minute and explain. Yeah. Hangs up. My mom knew what we were doing. Yeah. Knew where we were going. Knew that we weren't dumb enough to do anything. Like, well, we were dumb, but we weren't going to get like yeah. hurt. We weren't going to get arrested either. Right. But for the most part. We, we were going to do we anything were, yeah. stupid, stupid. Yeah. So like she, she knew she knew you were drinking it, and like she so heard, she, she, and he was kind of laughing. So she heard yeah. him laughing. So she kind of knew, like, all yeah. right, maybe let's wait a minute and pan out. She didn't jump to conclusion. Yeah. Um. So we're like, okay. Um. She's gonna call us when we're when she's here. So she goes upstairs, and Jim's like, all right, guys, we got to go now. Like, mm-hmm. We have to go right now. And and Kathy is like, all right, okay, well, well, I'll show you out. Like, let's go. Like, you guys need to go, go, go. So we're leaving. Um, and we're all saying goodbyes outside, and. Then we just hear yelling. We're like, what the fuck? What? Like, why the fuck are people yelling? And then we hear like stuff getting thrown around. We're like, what the fuck's going on? Like, dude, we gotta go. Yeah, like and, it's like time to leave. And Jim's Jim's like good, but our one buddy was really drunk and mm-hmm. he's like, Well shit, hold on one second. <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> I gotta I like I gotta find out what's going on. But he's like he's like, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's wait up a second. And there is a stairway outside. If you're staring at the house okay. right right in front of you is a hill the house is mm-hmm. up a hill and then behind you is just a field with huge gardens i'm and i'm not talking like oh there's a couple bushes hey cool i'm talking like sculpted hedges like there was a swan <laughs> we ran <laughs> holy shit we saw there was i've like, never been in there a place so nice that they were like dude it was to the bushes. it was to the point of like the corn maze in the shining like that field in the backyard that's just oh like that God. maze trap it was dude it was so intense creepy. out there so we're like, we're saying goodbyes. Uh, our, my buddy's drunk. And then they're like, you have to take Jared with you. Oh, Jared. And we're like, Jared. Damn it, Jared. And this is what we've been fucking around with Jared. We're like, Jared. <laughs> and, but Jared was supposed to stay the night there. And, uh, and so and the, you've never met Jared, right? No, you've never you met don't Jared. even know who Jared never is. Never met Jared. So they, they look at us. They look at us. And Jared looks at us and he goes, he's like, hey, hey, I, like, let me come with you for like, we'll leave for like a half hour. <laughs> And then you can come back and drop me off. And we were trying to figure this all out outside, saying goodbye. Mm-hmm. There's yelling upstairs. It's coming from the house. Oh man! We're like, what the fuck's going on? All of a sudden, I hear. Poof. I'm like, what the fuck is that? What? Look up the fucking stairs. <laughs> Uncle Bill. <laughs> Uncle Bill's up. Like troubled Uncle Bill with a gun. No. Steps out of the house. And we just scream. I look, at, shit. I look at Jim and my two friends and our new friend, Jared. Yeah, yeah, just and I look at them like, run, it's Uncle Bill. <laughs> like, not, there's a gun. It's run, there's yeah. Uncle Bill. Yeah, you don't even care and that he's got a we gun. we just start booking it. Oh, we're fucking hauling ass through these, through these people's backyards. <laughs> like, they're neighbors. We parked 10 houses down. Like, yeah. we parked at the end of the street. Oh, and he parks. Yeah, he We've parks got an entire way. like block to run through of backyards and garden mazes <laughs> and like these sculptures and like shit. Each house is like security light, so when you run past oh, it, it just shines so on us. It's so like walking down the frozen aisle at Target. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so we're running. All the lights are turning on. We we're looking behind us, and uh, like Uncle Bill is just chasing. Like he wow, he's actually chasing yet. you. With he's a gun. and we're he we're like we're three houses away. He's like. Just starting to run from his house. Did He's you like, get a head start on him though, a little bit. Yeah, for a minute. I mean, like he took a yeah. second coming down the stairs, and like we had a good house length. Was Uncle Bill in good shape? No. <laughs> well, that's good. We were lucky. Convenient for you. Yeah. Guys. So we're running, and uh, I, I, I'm like running, booking it. Yeah. A couple and houses. And you're not away. running faster. No. Than when somebody's chasing you yeah, and with I'm, a gun. I'm hauling ass. I yeah. I've never ran. I was like 200 something pounds. I've never ran that fast. <laughs> Just never in ran. my life. Just never I never ran. ran at that yeah. point. I'm like using new muscles. I'm sweating in places I've never sweat before. I'm like, what is going on? What is this? Um, so we're booking it, and I'm looking behind us. And I see Uncle Bill coming after. I'm like yelling. I'm like Uncle Bill, Uncle Bill. Oh my god! And, and then I like look over, and like I start counting heads while I'm running. 
<laughs> I'm like, there's Jared, there's Jim, there's Tony. Where's Lando? Lando's gone. <laughs> and we're just booking it. And we're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, we finally get to the car and we hop in. We're like, we, we, gotta, we can't leave Lando, but we got to go. Like, we can't leave Lando. Then Lando just comes running up from like behind the house. <laughs> and he's just like skipping along. Like, yeah. He's so drunk. He's, he's like, already got a cigarette he's lit. Like, he's like, yeah, he's got a cigarette lit. <laughs> He does. He just fucking strolls up. So we're in the car, and we get in there, and we're like, we gotta go. We haul ass out of there. And we're like, oh shit, that was ridiculous. Jared, you can't go back there. We gotta take you yeah, home. Yeah, you guys know like, Jared right. really well now. So we're in Farmington Hills. You guys are, you guys are best friends. <laughs> We've been through a lot together since Jared. Yeah. I've known we're, you for about three hours now. We're in Farmington Hills, and we're like, where do you live? He's like, Ypsilanti. What? Which I'm is like, like, that's like a, a half hour drive. So it's not a drive you want to have to go through no, after experiencing this. No. And we're drunk too. And you're probably, so, and mind you, probably annoying. Hey, Jared, no, Jared was cool actually. <laughs> I think we got Jared's number. Yeah. <laughs> Jared, man, we should do this again yeah, sometime. Yeah, I think that was what was said because it was nuts. We were like laughing hysterically. Yeah. Uh, so we take Jared to Ypsilanti, we drop him off, we go home. That was the end of our night. So a couple days go by and we texted Julie, hey, what ended up happening that night? Oh, nothing. Uncle Bill just was nuts, went to yeah, bed. He forgot to take his meds yeah. that day. <laughs> he just needed a banana. <laughs> Some low potassium. potassium. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> See? He, it's uh, true. <laughs> yeah. He uh, just went to bed. There was uh, nothing really happened. Like, all right. Um, a couple days go by, and then we're like, hey, let's hang out with them again. We hit them up. Yeah, yeah, let's I'm, do it right next like, time. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna have a party. You wanna come by? And she's like, "Oh, you didn't hear." I'm like, mm. "No, what happened?" Like, "Oh God," I'm thinking like, "I'm like, I'm like, like oh God, Bill shot her. He's what? in jail or something." Like, she's like, "No, uh, Kathy, parents got home and uh, heard about the party, mm-hmm. and that was the first time they ever found out she was she had drank." Yeah. So apparently, they like went into the basement and found all the cans that we had <laughs> hid. <laughs> she cleaned up what she thought was everything. Right. Oh, we, we you hit him so many there places. Was probably, there was probably 15 cans hidden. Just like in the tank and of the, the toilet. And then like a half drink fifth. <laughs> fifth. So they find everything oh, and no. thought that she was an alcoholic. Wow, yeah, because she's hiding booze. And they send her to rehab. <laughs> oh, shit. And she missed like homecoming and like oh, all these man. big events. Oh, my God. And she, uh, we, we never, so we never heard from her again. We, ne- and we never talked to her again either. We just never really thought about it. Yeah. Uh, I have no She's idea what probably happened. Probably in rehab. I right hope, now. I hope to God I didn't ruin. I, I'm a terrible person. You may or may not, I have, may been or may not have been a part of, of ruining of somebody's ruining her life. life. Yeah. I hope no. No, you saved her life. Yeah, she Mike. may have had a problem. Yeah, she may have, you, she, you may have been nibbing in the bud there, you know? Yeah. Like, by, an inevitable by, <laughs> by getting her the help she needed before she realized like that she, she needed, needed help. Yeah. That's all for this week. If you enjoyed the show, please go to onecrazystory.podbean.com and catch up on all the episodes you may have missed. If you don't like Podbean, you can always listen on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and TuneIn Radio, so make sure you find us there. And if you haven't told your friends about One Crazy Story, make sure you do that. You can follow us on Twitter at One Crazy Story, or you can follow me at Nate Comedy. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah.